Welcome back, guys. Hey, right, so um, moving along. So we're in our in our logarithms unit over here. Um, our topic number two is called uh, transformations of logarithmic functions. So example one says sketch each logarithmic function. So we have log base four of x and log base two of x. Guys, um, to start here, I'm just going to show you how this works on on your calculator here. Guys. Okay, so again, guys, I'm using the TI-84 Plus over here as well. So I'm going to show you two ways because some of the, if you have one of the older um, TI-83 Plus calculators, unfortunately, um, there, there, there's a feature on that one that's not available that is available on, on the newer ones. Okay, so I'm going to have to show you both ways on how to do this. So if you want to do any logarithm on your calculator, if we go math over to number, and it's going to go up. No, sorry, math, sorry, not over to number, just over to math, and we'll go to number A, which says log base. So again, the way I did that was you press math, and if you go up, it takes you down to the bottom of the list, and there's log base over here. So, and, and, and now you can enter any logarithm you want. So if you want to do log base 9 of 729, we need the answer of 3. And again, just verifying this, 9 exponent of 3 equals 729 okay so this is how this kind of works on a calculator over here well for you guys if you have one of the older calculators here's the way we need to do it okay um if you want to go and we're going to, we're going to show you what this change of base formula works um in, in, in kind of in the next section but we're going to use it over here as well if you want to enter this and you do not have the log base button on your calculator what we want to do is we're going to go log base 10. so here is a button log on your calculator but this is the common logarithm for only base 10. Now, the way that this one works over here, if I go log base 729 divided by log of 9, so I'm going to log of the argument divided by log of the base like this, I also get the answer of 3. So definitely, guys, um, it's a bit more annoying if you have one of the older calculators to have to do it this way, but this is how this works. So for our example in the notes, it says log base 4 of x. We have, I'm just going to use this one over here. So math log base 4 of x. This graph over here. Now, now guys over here, again, the TI-84, is. this is, because this is like 25-year-old technology like that. Um, you know, when I was in high school, we used the TI-83, and, and, and really, guys, this calculator is not much better than that old one that was 25 years ago. The technology is, is really not great. This graph does not stop at this point over here. This graph does keep going down, approaching our vertical asymptote, going this way over here. Okay, so the domain is x is greater than 0, and the range is all real numbers for this guy over here. Okay, so this is what this graph looks like over here. Just on the same graph, I'm going to graph part B, which was log base 2 of x. I just want to compare how these graphs are going to be different. So what you're going to see is that this graph is almost a bit steeper over here. Okay, and I'll show you why it looks a bit steeper as well. And again, guys, this graph does not stop here. Um, it does keep going down forever as well. Okay, now I'll explain why this graph looks a little bit steeper in a second here. So if I just do a quick table of values over here, what this function means is 4 to the y equals x. Okay, So I'm going to do a quick table of values here for a few values. But doing this, I'm just going to, instead of putting the x values, I'm going to put the y values in and figure out what these corresponding x values would be. So if I go 4 to the negative 2, that's the same thing as 1 16th. 4 to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 4th. 4 to the 0 equals 1. 
4 to the 1 equals 4, 4 to the 2 equals 16. Okay, so we get here, we have 1 16th common negative 2. That means this point is going to be really, really close to the x-axis, but not quite there at negative 2. And then we have 1 quarter negative 1. So we're going to get right here. We're at 1 comma 0, 4 comma 1, 16 comma 2. So this graph looks like... Like this. Okay. A couple of things about this graph right here, guys. We've talked about this in the last section that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals zero for this one. Okay. All right. Similar, why does y, y equals log base two of x look a bit almost a little bit steeper, a little bit taller in this graph? Same thing. We have two to the y equals x. If I do my table of values for this guy. Two to the negative two is one quarter, two to the negative one is one half, two to the zero equals one, two to the one equals two, two squared equals four, two cubed equals eight. So uh, one quarter negative two is going to be down below the screen, but it's going to be about down here. We have one half negative one, one zero. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2
a factor of one third. Okay, we have a vertical stretch about the x axis. I'm going to put a little note over here. Always describe stretches and reflections first. Okay, and then we have a translation. And we have a vertical translation okay so so here's kind of the, um, a description of the transformations that are happening over here so over here we have to do translations last Okay, so this is um, kind of a description of the transformations here. Okay, um, compare three characteristics of the graph y equals log base 2 of x and y equals log base 2 of 1 third x. So hopefully what we're recognizing here is what does this one third do to our graph? This one third is going to give us a, a horizontal stretch by a factor of three. What I'm also going to include in this graph is our, is our horizontal asymptote here, sorry, our vertical asymptote, which is x equals zero. When we're looking at the first function, y equals log base two of x, what you see is like your x-intercept is one zero is one unit away from the, the from the vertical asymptote over here. If I stretch this function by a factor of three, which is what this one third is doing here, now my intercept is over here is going to be one two three units away from the horizontal asymptote over here. Okay, so so we're describing these. Um, but if we're looking at these kind of characteristics over here. Um, yeah, this guy has been stretched by a factor of three. This guy has not. Okay. Um, looking at this, these guys are both have the same vertical asymptote. They have the same domain. They're both x is greater than zero. They both have the same range. They're both y um, is any real number. It goes down forever and it goes up forever as well. Okay. Um, but they have different x intercepts. So back to our notes. So guys, this question is a compare question. And remembering kind of back what compare means in the, I'm gonna say in, in, in the idea of like for a diploma exam here, compare means discuss similarities and differences. Okay, so the one, three characteristics, okay? Now, I'm not saying three similarities and three differences, I'm saying three characteristics that we can talk about. So, for example,
Okay, so if we say that both graphs have the same domain, okay, so this is going to be characteristic of the graph over here. Guys, make sure that you're saying they have the same, and so this is a key word for this over here. If you miss saying that they're the same or there's it's a similarity, okay, then you're not going to get the mark for a compare question over here, okay? So saying they have the same domain over here. Um, both graphs have the same range. Okay, so from negative infinity to positive infinity is the same range. The graphs have different x-intercepts. Okay, so again, we want to make sure for compare questions, difference, um, so we need to indicate they're different. So for how are they different? Y equals log base 2 of X. Okay, so we're taking different x-intercepts. Y equals log base 2 of x has an intercept at 1, 0. Y equals log base 2 of 1 third x has an intercept at 3, 0. Okay, so again, for compare, okay, we want to say, say discuss three similarities or differences. Okay, so we, in this case, we did two similarities and one difference is, um, is how this one works over here. Okay, so um, guys, hope we're getting good at recognizing um, what compare questions mean for us over here. Okay, so in this question over here, determine the equation for each function of y equals log base c of x minus h or y equals a c of x plus k. So um, this is like a logarithmic function. And this is an exponential function. So okay, I'm going to go back to decimals for a sec. Okay, so right now, guys, we're talking about y equals, so how does y equals log base c of b x minus h work? So first of all, the c value is not actually officially a transformation, it's just this value over here, which we call the base, okay? So how does this one work over here? Um, the bigger c gets, I'm going to say kind of the shorter um, this function is going to get, and the smaller c gets is going to be, it's going to have a, almost like a, a taller graph over here, okay? Guys, c is not allowed to equal 1. Okay, so if you remember back to our exponential functions unit, if we have a base of one, well, anything to the one is always going to be one. So it's so so we never really talk about logarithmic functions with bases of one. Okay, if we have a base which is less than one, though, we have what's going to make a logarithmic decay question. The graph is going to be getting 
for, uh, it's going to be getting smaller as we go from left to right. If C is bigger than one, there's going to be a logarithmic growth question. As we go left to the right, the function is getting is getting bigger. Okay. And what you see over here, if we have a negative C value, we don't see anything as well. So the same way in our in our exponential functions unit, our base was always going to be a positive number, and our base is never going to equal one. Okay. So it's just, it's not going to be a negative number. We're not seeing anything there. It has to be positive and c can't be it can't be one okay but this is just the base of our exponential function over here so i'm going to say let's go back to base two what the h value does is it gives us a horizontal translation left to right okay so as this guy moves it moves the whole graph left to right and really guys also it moves the horizontal asymptote over here so if i have an h value of 1.5 that means i'm shifted 1.5 to the right that means this is going to be my horizontal asymptote here so when we're looking at these graphs okay if we can identify where the horizontal asymptote is that's going to tell us what the h value of this equation is over here okay now what we talked about in the last example is how does this b value do the b value has to deal with the horizontal stretch so if i make a b value of 0 0.5 come on the reciprocal of, of 0 0.5 is 2 that means our horizontal stretch factor is 1 over 0 0.5 which equals to 2. now what you notice here is that the distance from here y intercept to 3 to the asymptote is one this distance is two so this distance from the asymptote to the intercept is going to be the horizontal stretch factor so in this case the horizontal stretch factor is two therefore the b the, the, the b value must be 0 0.5 okay if i look at this graph here my intercept is at 11 the asymptote is at 1, this distance is 10, that means my horizontal stretch factor is 10, therefore my B value is 1 over 10, which is 0 0.1, okay? So we can figure out the B value for this guy this way, okay? So if we're looking back to, back to our notes, an example 4, This graph over here has an asymptote at x equals negative 12. Therefore, h equals negative 12. Okay? So, in this case, our intercept is negative 10, which is 2 units away. So, 2 units from vertical asymptote. Therefore, horizontal stretch factor is 2 and B equals 1 half. So the B value is always the reciprocal of the horizontal stretch factor. So what we have so far, we have Y equals log base c guys there's a type over here there should be a b value in here as well our b value is one half of x plus 12 like this okay so 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 what we've done over here is we've um we figured out our our h value is negative 12 our b value is one half okay now what we need to figure out is what's going to be our our c value here now to figure that out we're going to use this point here as x y and we're going to figure out what c equals so that means negative 1.5 equals log base c of one half x plus 12 and it's going to be a bit of work but we need to figure out what this what the c value is going to be okay so this means C is 
Sorry, guys, let me back up for a sec. I forgot to put in my x value of 4. Okay. So um, we have negative 1.5 equals log base c. 4 plus 12 is 16 times 1 half is 8. Okay. Other thing, negative 1.5 is the same thing as negative 3 over 2. It's going to be easier for us to deal with um, a fractional exponent than a decimal exponent. So we get c to the negative 3 over 2 equals 8. Okay. Now, a bit of tricky over here. How do we get c by itself in this case? What we're going to do is we're going to take both sides of this equation to the negative 2 thirds. Now, the reason why this works, if I go negative 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 3, well, the negatives cancel out. 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 is 1. This is how we get c to the 1 on the left-hand side. And this is going to equal the same thing as 1 over 8 to the 2 over 3. Okay. Now, how do we do with 8 to the 2 over 3 again? It's equal to the 3 becomes the cube root of 8 squared. The cube root of 8 is 2 squared is 4. So all this work kind of takes us is that 8 to the 2 thirds is 4, therefore c is 1 over 4. Okay, so our equation for this guy is log of one quarter we have y equals log of base one quarter of one half x plus 12 okay all right so guys i'm gonna have to erase some of the stuff over here so i can look at this graph our right, so for the next example um for b here the trick for B is to recognize that this is not so this is not a logarithmic function. This is actually an exponential function. Okay, so talking about characteristics of each, logarithmic functions have vertical asymptotes. Exponential functions have horizontal asymptotes over here. Okay, so we know we have y equals a c to the x plus k. Guys, this is really kind of a review from um, the exponential uh, functions unit that we did in chapter seven earlier on. Um, guys, I have an assignment just on logarithmic and exponential functions I'm going to share with you guys later on, and, and you're going to get a lot of practice on questions like this. So if we have y equals six is our horizontal asymptote, therefore our k value is six. Okay. If we look over here, Our y-intercept is 2 below the asymptote. Therefore, a equals negative 2. Okay? So the same thing that we did over here, if this is telling us what a horizontal stretch is for a logarithmic function, this is telling us what the vertical stretch is for the exponential function over here. Okay, so so far we have y equals negative 2, c to the x plus 6. Okay, so for here we just need to figure out our bases, and we're going to use this point negative 1, 0 as our x, comma, y. That means 0 equals negative 2 c to the negative 1 plus 6. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. Divide by negative 2. Okay. Now, c to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over c. I'm going to multiply both sides by c and divide by 3. So there we, we get an equation of c equals one third. So our equation for this one's going to be 
y equals negative 2, 1 third to the x, plus 6. Okay, the graph of, y, of f of x equals log base 9 of x can also be described by the equation um, g of x equals a log 3 of x. There's two ways we can do this question. One way is what we, something we call um, our change of base formula. So if we have a base of 9, we want to be able to change it to something with a base of 3. That's one way. And the other way we can do is kind of just what, what, what I describe is just um, using our, our exponent laws and our just understanding what, what logarithms do. So I'm just going to make this a y equals. So if I have y equals log base 9 of x, that means we have 9 to the y equals x okay now what we want to be able to do for this guy is is we want to make this guy a base three so how would we do that that means three to the two y equals x like this and that means now now if i convert this back into logarithmic form it would be log base three of x equals 2y I'm going to multiply both sides by one half these guys cancel out so we get y equals one half log base 3 of x so this equation y equals a log base 3 of x this is saying that therefore a equals one half all right, so guys, I know this is kind of a tricky way, but really what we're doing is we're just converting it into exponential form, switching this into base 3, so 9 is equal to 3 squared, so this is 3 to the 2y, converting it back into logarithmic form with a new base of 3, and then solving for y, so we get y equals 1 half log base 3 of x, a is equal to 1 half. All right, guys, um, I hope that this one makes sense, and um Again, guys, I have I have an assignment on logarithmic and exponential functions for you guys to work on, and you, you guys get really practiced up on this stuff, and you guys get good at these skills over here. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.